Hello, my name is Jim Keller. I'm a professor of pharmacy, medicine, and oncology out of the University of Texas at Austin and the Health Science Center in San Antonio, Texas. Today I'd like to talk about transdermal granicitron for the management of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, also referred to as CINV. This first slide shows the systemic exposure and the continuous protection that a transdermal delivery system of granicitron can provide. Uh, this transdermal system delivers continuous granicitron into the systemic circulation. If you look at the slide here, the graph shows you daily administrations of granicitron. And if you look at the other line here, you can see that the patch that again distributes drug evenly over a continuous period of time gives you basically the same area under the curve and delivers the same amount of drug over time as multiple daily injections. So means we can put one patch on to get the same delivery of multiple daily injections. This slide shows the non-inferiority study where the transdermal administration of granicitron was tested to daily administration of granicitron in both moderate and highly metagenic chemotherapy. To the right of this slide, we're going to look at overall emetogenicity and various regimens. If you look at the different bars here, you basically see that there's equivalence between the transdermal and the oral granicitron given, both for moderate and for highly emetogenic agents, and then more specifically for platinum and non-platinum regimens. This next slide will cover very quickly the safety of the transdermal administration of granicitron. The only thing that actually shows up to any degree is some GI disorders, a little additional constipation from the patch. All the toxicities appear to be equivalent. This next slide has shown that transdermal granicitron is not inferior to palinositron. Remember, palinositron is a second generation 5-HT3 antagonist with delayed activity. This slide again shows that over both the acute, the first 24 hours, and the delayed phase, the next two to five days, you can see here that the control of CNV is basically equivalent. If you look from a toxicity standpoint, the toxicity seem to be relatively comparable. In summary, transdermal granicitron is available as Sancuso, Complete response is similar to both IV and PO granicitron and palinositron. It's indicated for the prevention of CNV related to highly and moderate amenogenic chemotherapy, both HEC and MEC. And this patch should be applied at least 24 hours prior to the administration of chemotherapy and can be worn up to seven days. It's available as a prescription in most outpatient retail pharmacies. With that, I'm going to stop and I thank you for your time.